Hi, I'm Trevor Durling, Chief Winemaker and General Manager for Beaulieu Vineyard, one of the longest continuously operated wineries in the Napa Valley. We are right here in the historic cellar um, built in 1885. Uh, we were founded as a winery in 1900, uh, and George de la Tour purchased the very building that I am sitting in right now here uh, later on in 1923. So really excited to be with you all this evening. Um, I am very envious of this delicious menu. And of course, the wines will be pairing beautifully with the courses that I have seen so far. So I have a lot of envy. Wish I was there with you guys in person, but you will have a wonderful time. I am certain of it. So the first wine that I'd like to talk to you about is our 2019 Carneros Chardonnay. So most people, when they think of Beaulieu Vineyard, they um, associate us with Cabernet Sauvignon, which of course is our claim to fame, being that we're located right here in the heart of the valley in the Rutherford district. That being said, we've actually been making Chardonnay uh, since the early 1950s, when we first started purchasing vineyards down in the Carneros district at the southern end of the Napa Valley. So this 2019 Carnero Chardonnay is entirely barrel fermented, although I restrict the amount of new oak that I use to about 20, between 20 and 30 percent, depending on the vintage. And that is to make sure that it's really the terroir that shows through uh, and the barrel is just there really as, a, as a, um, a backup and something that will add some complexity to the wine. But we want it to be more about the terroir and the vineyard itself. Uh, we do a lot of batonnage, so we will stir the lees during the aging process. Um, and that will add to the creamy texture, of course, that we are so well known for in our Chardonnays. Now, I think this will pair beautifully, of course, uh, with that first course, uh, particularly the grilled chicken in the salad. Um, Chardonnay, of course, pairs wonderfully with white meat in particular. And I think that they're going to complement each other. There's some nice crisp acidity to this wine that's going to really, really help, uh, you know, it, uh, amplify a lot of the flavors that you'll be enjoying with that course. So let's taste it. Nice, crisp, clean, wonderful viscosity. Um, I think it's gonna be a pairing made in heaven. Enjoy, cheers. All right, it's me again, I am back. Um, I'm very excited to talk to you about the second pairing of the evening, which will be a wonderful vegetarian chili dish paired with our delicious 2017 Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Let me give you a little bottle shot right here. Now, again, uh, when people think about Beaulieu Vineyard, of course, they tend to associate us with Cabernet Sauvignon. That's our claim to fame. The winery is located right here in the heart of the Napa Valley in the Rutherford District. And we have been making uh, world-class Cabernet Sauvignon since the turn of the last century in 1900. Uh, we own and farm about 1,100 acres across the Napa Valley, about half of which are located in the middle in the Rutherford District. But one of the things that I love about this wine in particular is that we utilize most of our estate vineyards throughout the entire Napa Valley to make it. Um, it is primarily Cabernet Sauvignon, although I do also use some complementary varietals in the blend, such as Merlot, Malbec, Petit Verdot, and even a splash of Petit Syrah that adds a really nice viscosity and mouthfeel to this wine. Now, it's also one of the most versatile Cabernets that we make. Um, I love to experiment with different pairings, and I think that this, uh, this chili dish will be absolutely phenomenal with this wine. So you get the dark fruit flavors, uh, the dark fruit characteristics on the aroma. Um, it's bursting out of the glass, uh, a little bit of a smokiness and a, and a slight toast from the barrels, which will play beautifully with the food. Nice acidity, crisp, clean, to the point, lots going on, and that is going to be uh, one of the best pairings of the night, in my opinion. I'm very envious of all, you, all of you, and I wish I was there with you enjoying uh, this delicious pairing. Cheers. Okay, so I am now back for a third time. We are here to talk about two delightful wines to share tonight and that will be paired with the main course. Um, first of all, we have two different vintages, which is always really, really fun to talk about. So the first wine I'd like to talk about here is the 2018 Rutherford Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon. There is a little label shot here. Um, very excited to talk about this wine for a couple of reasons. First of all, 2018 was one of the very greatest vintages that I've experienced in my entire career. Lovely growing season, tremendous concentration, power, and complexity in these wines. But secondly, this is the first, so the inaugural vintage of our Rutherford Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon, which is coming primarily from our estate vineyard blocks on the Western Rutherford bench 
uh, some of the original vineyard property that Georges Latour started purchasing in the year 1900. So uh, tremendous complexity here. You're going to get this uh, this wonderful characteristic that we refer to as Rutherford dust. And the way that I like to explain this is it is a very distinct characteristic associated with Cabernet in particular coming from the Rutherford district. Um, and it's really a textural thing to me. So there's this cocoa powder flavor profile and texture that hits you on the mid palate, melts across the palate and creates a very, very long and delightful finish. Um, but you'll also get those wonderful aromas and flavors of dark fruit, cassis, blackberry, uh, and a little bit of an earthiness. And that's one of the reasons that I think this wine pairs so well with various types of protein as well as even vegetable dishes. So um, I think for both of the wines that we're going to be talking about right now, they will both pair beautifully with the different options you have. So the braised short ribs, the roasted venison, or the rack of lamb will all pair uh, delightfully with this Rutherford Reserve Cabernet, as well as the wine that we're going to talk about in just a moment. So when you taste this wine, uh, you really should be just experiencing that Rutherford terroir. And that is first and foremost what I want to be exploding out of the glass uh, when tasting this wine. And I think that is absolutely the case. You are going to really, really enjoy it. Now, I'm going to change courses a little bit here. And we are going to go to the next glass that will be paired, or the next wine that will be paired with the main course. And that is the 2017 George de la Tour Private Reserve. Uh, 2017, also a phenomenal vintage from a quality perspective. Um, warmer year, so you're going to get these really delicious, ripe phenolics. You're going to see a lot of uh, flavor intensity, and the aromatics are definitely exploding out of the glass. You have, of course, another year of bottle age on this compared to the Rutherford Cabernet. Um, and, of course, George de la Tour Private Reserve is our flagship, our icon, and our claim to fame. This is a wine that we have been making since the year 1936, and it essentially changed the entire landscape of winemaking in the Napa Valley upon its first release. So this is going to be the very best of the best of all Cabernet that we harvest for an entire vintage. The majority of this fruit does come from the Rutherford district as well. So many of those Rutherford dust characteristics that I was describing in the previous wine are also going to be prevalent here. Uh, but we have a little bit more depth, concentration, and ageability here. So this is a wine that you can lay down for decades if you would like to. Uh, and, but the way that it is made today, it is also quite approachable early on out of the gate. And given that we're tasting a 2017 here, it is a baby. But that acidity and that freshness is going to make this pair delightfully with all three of those main course options that I described before. A little bit more new oak. We also use a little bit of barrel fermentation on the skins here. And there is just a tremendous amount of complexity to this wine. That will certainly not disappoint. Thank you again for joining tonight. I'm very envious. Wish I was there enjoying uh, this delightful meal with all of you in person. But hopefully we will get to do that together very, very soon. Cheers, everybody.